Then the next step becomes what, Sean? If you maintain the pregnancy. Well, after after you've had after your the, kids and you're mid forty, what what's the next scenario well, that they face? I mean, they're going to start having irregular cycles. You're putting me on the spot here. Yeah. So, what's the next therapy that we pull out of our box for? In oh, the, in oh, the, yeah. I know. The, okay. What what yeah. what's next? Right. So on the, the next therapy after you've had your kids and then you've had PCOS and you had problems having kids and now you have this kid, then all of a sudden it's like, well, you don't need your body parts anymore. Right. You just need a hysterectomy yep. or an ablation, right. you know, ablation. Oh, that didn't, that wasn't enough. Okay. We'll just take out your body parts. And, and Janet likes to remind people that anybody that's had a hysterectomy, it takes 10 years off your life. Yeah. Boom. 10, like that. Years. 10 years. And the sad part about it is not only do they say, oh, this is going to fix the problem, right? And I've heard it probably a thousand times, and I probably hear it once a day, if not more. So the lady goes in, and she does everything she's supposed to. She has a hysterectomy, and for a little bit, she might be okay. But pretty soon, we still are having the same type of issue repeating itself. And again, having a hysterectomy does nothing for that lack of progesterone or for the dietary issues that need to happen along with this. And you still are going to be producing DHEA and testosterone. So here you have somebody that's went through all these things and a, and a surgery on top of it. And then we're going to tell her, well. Yeah, yeah. sorry, that, that didn't work. Yeah. So what's yeah. the next intervention? Let's take out your ovaries now. Well, we should probably give you and depression. Oh yeah, give in. That's, that's one. You might oh, feel yeah. better because right. you yeah. have urinary incontinence after you take out your ovaries. So we'll give you, you know, things for urinary incontinence and right. for your vaginal dryness and and your anxiety. That. We'll yeah. treat that. And then, oh, then your bones get weak, and we'll give you things for your bones. But I'm so glad that we took out your uterus and your ovaries. 